Why are you buying Christmas books in February? <laughs> Happy February, Life Editors! Next week, I'm turning 40, and I'm so excited because birthdays are a big deal for me. However, I was supposed to be celebrating on a Disney cruise before this whole worldwide health crisis changed my plans. That's what we do as life editors. We're always rolling with the punches and editing. I'm still hosting my annual birthday sale next week, but for now, let me share what I'm working on this month and the positive changes I'm making. It's time to edit my life. Let's go. I'm Sage Grayson, a former book editor turned life coach. I help ambitious women edit their habits, routines, and mindsets to balance their happiness at work and home. I'm a life editor, and so are you. Today, we're talking about how I'm editing my life in February, including a book outlet haul. We're going to clean and rearrange my bookshelves, and I'll share my goals for the month. Before we get started, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my life editing videos. Plus, you'll be first to know when I launch new products and programs. Let's start with my awesome book haul from Book Outlet. For those of you who don't know, Book Outlet is an online retailer with thousands of books for up to 90% off. And these are all new and unused books in great condition. I'll leave a link below this video where you can get a $10 off coupon for your first Book Outlet purchase. Now, Book Outlet recently had a sale where you would buy three books and get the fourth one for free. So I went a little nuts and I took all of my books from my book list that were $4 and under and threw them into my cart. My grand total was 36 books for $100. That sounds pretty good to me. But why in the world did I buy such a massive haul of books? Because my home library has dwindled significantly during my past two moves. One move was from Orlando, Florida to Nashville, Tennessee in mid-2019. And then my second move was three months later from Nashville, Tennessee to Los Angeles, California at the end of 2019. Don't ask. Basically, I had a job opportunity that fell through, and I am so glad it did because I am much, much happier living back here in California. Anywho, I couldn't bring all of my books with me, so I pared down my collection with every move. Now that I am comfortable, safe, and happy in LA, I want to rebuild my library and refill my bookshelves. And Book Outlet is making it super easy for me. Again, click the link below the video to get your $10 coupon. All right, so let me show you what I got in my massive haul. Sage, why are you buying Christmas books in February? Because I'm ridiculous. I also got two gorgeous editions of The Wizard of Oz, one of my favorite stories of all time. This set of books are books that I would call bucket list books. They're all about different things that you can do to improve your life and get happier. So we got 365 Simple Pleasures, Simple Acts That Change the World, I'm Awesome, Here's Why, Things to Do Before You're 30, uh, missed it by that much, Future Boards, otherwise known as Vision Boards, and finally the Bucket List Book, 500 Things You Can Really Do. What's on your bucket list or vision board? Leave a comment below and let me know. The next group are novels, and here's a throwback to one of the authors I read a lot in my middle school years. You may now kill the bride. <laughs> Words in Deep Blue, which I saw on a lot of bestseller lists. And can I be honest with you? I only got this book because I thought the cover looked pretty. Next are the happiness books. Five Minute Bliss, because I'm 40 years old. My time is precious. How about JOMO, the joy of missing out? The older I get, the happier I am just to stay home and not go out. Happiness is a choice you make, something I firmly believe in. And happiness hacks, because we like things short and sweet. So all of these books I would say are in the self-development category. How to be interesting. How about adultish? Because I certainly don't feel like one. Bored and brilliant. Curious. Hunch. The Bravest You and Be Fearless. Living Debt Free. 
And this one is technically a novel called Help Me, and it's about a woman who tries out different self-help books to see if they really work. I'll call this next stack success books. The Ambition Decisions, Wake Up and Live, The Gutsy Girl, Two Teeny Tiny Books, The Go-Getter, and How to Live on 24 Hours a Day. And I got Juliet School of Possibilities, which is by one of my favorite authors, Laura Vanderkam. And my final stack is a bunch of novels that at first glance don't seem to have anything in common. But all of these books were recommended for those people who have the zodiac sign of Aquarius. That's me. So when I was choosing my Aquarius books, I had to make sure that the books were on at least two different lists. So I wasn't just randomly choosing a book that someone thought was appropriate for Aquarians, but really wasn't. So all of these books were on multiple lists saying, yes, these are for Aquarians. So apparently Aquarius ladies are a little witchy and a little spiritual. So that's why I got Winterwood. And we're all about a good love story. So I got Written in the Stars. Aquarians are also known for being the woke members of the Zodiac or the humanitarians who are always taking on other cause. So I got Love, Hate, and Other Filters. When Dimple met Rishi, and this is about a super type A girl, which is fitting because Aquarians tend to be very high strung. And a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares. I hope you enjoyed my book haul from Book Outlet. Again, click the link below the video to get your $10 coupon. All right, so my next step is to clean off my bookshelves because they're getting kind of dusty and gross. Then I'm going to refill them with my new and old books and some random decor. That took forever, but I'm glad to have it done. These shelves over here, I'm going to fill with my scrapbooks at a later day. I like having the rainbow for aesthetic reasons, but I do understand that this isn't the most efficient way to organize my books. Leave a comment below and share how you organize your books by color, by author, by year, by genre, or some other way. Last, I wanna show you my content plan and my task calendar for February. To keep things easy for myself, all of my projects are color coordinated. So pink is for my blog posts and videos, orange is for my email newsletter, purple are for launches, and blue is for my life editor clubhouse. So these purple sticky notes are for my birthday sale that's next week. When I schedule a blog post or a video or an email or whatever it is, I remove that color sticky note and then I write that project in in the same color pen. So at a glance, I can immediately see what I'm still working on and what's already finished and scheduled. This over here, which you can kind of see, even though all the sticky notes are falling off, is my task list by week. I used to keep all of these sticky notes in my planner, but then my planner got too stuffed and unusable. So now I keep all of the tasks on my wall. Again, everything is color coded by project. So I've got green stuff, which is personal, such as what movies I'll watch and books I'll read and my meal planning technique. And then I've also got business stuff like launches and my content and my emails. I would love to see how you organize your work and personal projects. So leave a comment below and share your best tips for getting stuff done. That's it. That's how I'm editing my life in February. So be sure to leave a comment below and share how you're editing your life and business this month. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. It helps my videos be recommended to other life editors just like you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.